Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. Come on, let's get in line. <laughs> Attention, please. We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Oh, hi, little guy. What is it? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word the room saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. That can't be true, can it? Let's go find out. All tourists, please move swiftly and calmly to the designated Jeez, square at Sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring. No, uh, excuse me. Please go, please. What the f Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. It's like I told you, someone went on a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. He's now always muted. We meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was.
was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like. The place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the Gold Saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top, where it was safe. The buildings vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mummy, maiming, murdering, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop.
Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. And shine. Huh? Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> well now, wouldn't try that if I was you. <laughs> All right, follow me. Uh, uh. <laughs> Off we go. You just wait right there. Hey, boss, your guests are here. Welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Got a merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. <laughs> but which one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That bear is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donny C? Yeah. Let think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So, the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key, out in the middle of the dunes. Now, I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Oh, hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of it. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Can put a price on anything. Frick. Ah, uh -uh. that's guts to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> hey, creep Mazoids, what are you planning on doing with us? Oh, sure. I suppose I could always ninja myself out of here. Right. To leave people lost in the desert to safety. No need to worry about us, Sam. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you.
your new champ hmm. he's all yours so you're cloud the merc <laughs> can't say i was expecting someone so pretty pretty shrinky. hi master chocobo wrangler pleasure wait cloud aren't you that kid from the ranch well hang on you two know each other what happened we were making our way to the saucer for pico's racing debut when these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Finding that feed for Pico? Let me think. What about... Oh, that stalker gang. Bet they got something. Might have to beat it out of them, though. Good luck out there, cutie pie. friends and welcome to my swindling seminar today for the very first time.
Don't skimp on gear. I don't sell to ringers. Get your ass out of here! Told you, be quiet or beat it. Don't get tossed out if you make any kind of noise. junk lying around. Not my fault. Shut up. Jeez. Some thugs literally ran me out of town. Made for great action shots. Hopefully folks can feel their grittiness. I've already got solid pictures of the prison, so let me know if you find any other good backdrops. Play Queen's blood. That's going to be tricky. I'm a living statue, you see. I'm not supposed to move under any circumstances. <sighs> well, I guess I could move my arms at least. <laughs> You're going to regret making me come to life.
You completely demolished me. Well played, good sir. But my problem is as a Don't you agree? Someday, I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why I'm trying to hone my skills by purposely putting myself in the harshest of environments. But my winning streak was starting to draw negative attention. So maybe losing was for the best. I'll be here for a while yet. If you would like to play another game, just let me know. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Nopalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Don't go back there anytime soon anymore. Somewhere more quiet. <laughs> oh, come on. I don't fight. <laughs> Sorry, but you're stuck with me now. You lost or something? What? Got a problem? <laughs> I ain't gonna hurt you. Promise. I hurt you. Allow us to show you how things work around here. Oh, am I holding? You up. Spot work. I'm up. You lost or something? It's easy. What? Got a problem? And here we are. <laughs> now we can have a nice private talk without anyone butting in. <laughs> <laughs> it's time you got a lesson in the way things work around here. Don't worry, you can thank us later. Mm. Yeah! No this is how just told us you were out of our league. I mean, uh, thanks for the match. It was a real learning experience. Wasn't it, boys? 
Oh, right. We got something special for you. A gift to remember us by. Here. Oh, there we go. And with that, we'll hurry up and get out of your hair. Right, Whoa. boys? Yeah. Very sorry to have troubled you, but we won't do it again. Promise! <laughs>
Never in doubt. Look at you go. Be sure to check out some of our other contests, too, if you're in the market for a little danger. Definitely come in handy for our next champion bird. How come you all get to eat veggies? It ain't fair. No one knows. So, you ready or what? About time. Let's get this show on the road. Come with me. Actually, on second thought, I'll take him up top. Does that work for you? Say what? <laughs> You want to go roll in the hay with this idiot? Go wild. And on that note, follow me. It's hard to believe this is the same Pico that nearly died in the desert. You should have seen him that first day, the poor boy. More dirt than Chocobo. Couldn't so much as give us a quail without coughing up sand. He's a whole new bird now, though. Might even have what it takes to win. Question is, do you? Even the fastest Chocobos can't win Jack without the right jockey. I've seen my fair share of promising birds wasted on riders who didn't know their asses from a hole in the ground. Believe me, in the racing world, it's all about who's holding the reins. No pressure, though. Okay, on you go.
competing in the race today? Yep. We'll get your bird prepped for you. Just sit tight in the jockey lounge. And no wandering off, okay? Um, that's about it for me today. Holy shit. That was a long episode. Pretty much a filler episode. I mean, even though I did the main quest, there are a whole bunch of things uh, during uh, leading up to the main quest that um, I didn't think. Uh, well, it's not that I didn't even want to do them. A lot of the things that I did was fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, most of the things. Uh, yeah, I don't know what really happened today, but this is pretty much a filler episode. But it was a fun filler episode, so gonna leave it at that and um but in the next episode i do feel like we're finally going to get back on track and start uh, get back to doing the things uh that i'm um mostly interested in doing which is basically exploring the vast world uh, before me and getting stronger and uh doing most more side quests and uh more um uh, me well i'm already doing a main quest uh saving buried is pretty much a a main quest because well he's our friend but Hopefully in the next game, um, I get to leave this particular area that I'm uh, cur cur currently visiting and uh, start uh, engaging the open world uh, a little more. So yeah, if you came to watch, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you so much for being my audience. I appreciate that. And um, come back in the next episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, um, uh, which will be part eight of my series, which is my playthrough of this game. Peace, take care, bye, and see you again very, very soon.